Hey everyone, MagPan9901 here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about the CTE server for Battlefield 1, what it is and how you get in on it. So let's get right into it, what is the CTE server or community test environment for Battlefield 1? It is basically a test bench for new ideas and new maps that DICE are looking to bring to Battlefield 1. They put it out there, the community can play and test these ideas and new maps and with the feedback generally create a better playing environment for everybody involved. So that sounds pretty good, you get to try out things before the release to the public, so how do you go about this? Well. You need a PC, you need Battlefield Premium, and you need the Battlefield Companion app for your mobile device. Firstly, what you need to do is download the Battlefield Companion app to your mobile device. It's available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. You log into it with your um, origin details. Go to the top right corner, the small gear icon, press on that. And in that menu, you will see a selection that you can make, and it's called Community Test Environment. Press on that, you get all of the agreements and the legal stuff, blah blah blah, press agree, and then it will tell you that you have been successful in your application to join the CTE server. Then what you have to do is launch Origin on your PC, go to purchase titles or purchase games I think it is, and it should show up in there and you're able to download it and install it. Once it's installed you just launch it like you would Battlefield 1, it opens up like Battlefield 1 does, you'll see that it's slightly different and it's a little bit more stripped back with regards to the main menu. And from there you'll have access to a variety of servers that will be running test bench kind of things. And that is basically the CTE server in a nutshell. It is only available on the PC to premium pass holders. Premium pass is a bone of contention, I realise that, but I guess if they let everybody in on it, then it would just fragment the whole community. So it's just kept to the premium pass holders. But if you are a premium pass holder, then you have nothing to lose by downloading this and giving it a go. You could generally make the uh, entire game better for other people through your feedback and you don't even have to give feedback you can just go on and play the maps recently i've been playing the vel knights done some gameplay footage of that so yeah if you've got premium pass you may as well get it you have nothing to lose it won't cost you a penny and that is basically it for this video um also i know that there is rumors of it coming to the consoles at some point but i have no idea when that may be or if in fact it will happen the playstation is quite heavily tied up so I can't see it going to the PlayStation. I could maybe see it coming onto Xbox One because they're a little bit more laid back with what content they allow on there, especially when it comes to betas and things like that. So yeah, if it does come to consoles I will of course let you guys and girls know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hopefully next time I won't be full of cold and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.